Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, family. Um, just a real quick video. I would like to actually direct this one to DJ Trish. Um, you know, I I do try to watch a little bit of everyone's videos now and then, and so um, she had asked for some CD recommendations, and I'm um, even though records are still much more fun to sh to show. Um, I'm going to be showing more CDs because um, there's just so much music I have on CD. Probably like you folks said, I'll probably never have it on vinyl. And and I want to talk about it or at least show it, you know. Some records I just want to show that I have them, you know. You guys talk about music and I'll bet you'll... I don't bet, but you know, it's like sometimes I just want to show you. Yeah, I have that music too. But anyway, here's a band that... Um, this is kind of alt folk country... I don't listen to this much. A lot of times what will make this music work for me is when I know the people or I've had personal contact with them because a lot of Roots music is boring to me. It's when I make the personal connection that I can connect to it. Otherwise, it just sounds the same to me, okay? So this is a band from Minneapolis that I played with on tour once and it really impressed me. And they're playing in Omaha. Um, Thursday night, I may go see them. The Pines. This is real good. I listened to it the other night and um, listened to almost all of it, you know, just trying to just listen to how good it is. And then it did honestly get to a point where it's like, this music is just so samey. It's just the changes are so predictable. Even though it's being played well, it's like, I really don't care about the stories, honestly. I'm just being honest. I don't care about the stories. Not really. Not really, you know. If the music is compelling enough, then you draw me in. But mostly, it's just this, um, not just, but it's music that is reflecting life the way people know it, which is which is fine. I just get bored with that, you know. I thought I would go ahead and show some more CDs. These are recommendations uh, for you, Trish, but it's also an opportunity to show um, these CDs by my friend Joe Budenholzer's band, Backworld. Now, I'm not saying that I think this is what you're into, but I just want to show these and check them out. You might be surprised that you like this stuff. Backworld is considered by some people kind of goth. I don't, I don't see that. I see more of the um, pagan Christian aspect to Joe's music. Now, if that doesn't sound like it makes sense to you, do a little bit of studying, and then, then it will. Members of Current 93, Coil, people like that, some other people like that, Swans, people that played with Swans are on these records. Matter of fact, this EP here, Seeds of Love by Joe, Isabel Campbell, originally of Bell and Sebastian, is on here with him. She sings on here with him. I tell the story about the making of the record, but I, that's that's privileged information, actually. Eh? But um, I think you might like this music, actually. It's acoustic bass to use strings and stuff. And I, I love Joe's voice. Here's another um, EP of his called The Orchids. Okay, and then like uh, one more of his original CDs because he's reissued these Anthems of the Pleasure Park. This one is good. If you're at all familiar with Current 93, that's that's a good touch point for what this music sounds like. Um, he's also played with people like the band Death in June, but I think Joe is much better than Death in June. Good um, Infection I played um, I played these songs with him live quite a bit This is my favorite by Joe of Silver Sleep This is the one I think actually DJ, DJ Trish I think you would like This is beautiful Really beautiful And he covers a Scott Walker song on here um, which one is it? Maybe it's not this one. He does a nice cover of a Scott Walker song on one of his albums. Angel of Ashes. The Angel of Ashes. 
here's the reissue of Anthems of the Pleasure Park. These just came out in beautiful new Digipack designs. I kind of want to show these off for Joe. He was an um, early inspiration for me of the local folks who got out and tried to make something with his music, you know, other than just being local. Holy Fire. There's Joe. Nice, nice work. I think his current wife, his wife, he finally got married, helped to redesign these. Some of uh, the, the uh, more subtle changes in the design. We're thankful to her. Owls of the Blessed. Good stuff. I was super chuffed when To The Boy Ellis mentioned Backworld, not knowing that I knew them. I was thinking, man, somebody in this world, I know that they're, I know they have, it's strange. Joe's got a huge following in Russia, but I was thinking, surely people in America, somebody knows about Backworld. <laughs> and then here's another excellent, The Fourth Wall. Some CDs for you, Trish, and anybody else that's interested. Have a good one, people.